the best Christmas present ever on this episode of Unlock Your Wealth Today, your life fully invested. Welcome to Unlock Your Wealth Today, your life fully invested. I'm your purveyor of prosperity and host of the Wagon Halls. And on this episode, I'm making success simple with the best Christmas gift ever. It's a big statement, I know, but follow with me and we're going to revisit one of our keys from this past season and discuss the importance of this key and why it makes the greatest Christmas present ever. Now, regardless of how well your year went, it might have been your best year financially. It might have been your worst. You might have been beset with tragedy and all of these other incidents along the way that seemed like things just piled up. But finally, we're here to the end of the year and we're ready to celebrate the holidays. And what do we do now? Maybe we've been cash strapped. Maybe we spent too much on credit. Maybe we're not so much worried about the actual day, but we're worried about next month when the bills start coming in and you're trying to figure out how on earth am I going to cover this debt? These are the things that we get caught up in as our lives and society progresses. So in a way, if we're worried about stuff, we kind of aren't worried about too many other things. But if you're worried about stuff and it's causing lifestyle issues or relationship issues, I want to encourage you to take a step back and re-examine this from a different lens. Now, we typically are nearing our end of the keys to riches in our financial philosophy. For those of you who are joining us for the first time, the Keys to Riches is a baker's dozen of financial concepts that teach you how to think like the rich and be in control of your own money. It also gives you specific techniques to create or fix your credit, eliminate debt, save and invest all while transforming your current financial habits into healthy money management skills. And we do this one key at a time, one week at a time here at the Unlock Your Wealth Show as well as on our websites at unlockyourwealthtoday.com and unlockyourwealth.com, where we have all of our great courses available for you to take to enhance your financial knowledge and be able to figure out how you can create prosperity for you and your family now and for generations to come. And that brings me to wanting to revisit one of our other keys because right now we're forgetting the perfection principle and then we have our final key which is to become a voracious reader but i want to take a moment and have us revisit a key seven specifically in the past so if we run through them and we go up to seven so we have first acceptance and affirmation then we have take action, make assessment. We have dreams with deadlines. We have knowledge is power, not knowing is powerful. We have take emotion out of the picture. And then we have our no seasonal exceptions. And that's where we are in our key seven. And, and I'm bringing this one up because this is where people make mistakes. And I get it. I came from an impoverished family. I understand why you want to create a better life for your children. I get that because I understood the plight that my mother was on, not in the moment, but upon reflection. I understand what must have been going through her mind as she was trying to raise two children all of a sudden on her own, not really prepared in a world with double digit inflation in the seventies and Still, there was sexual discrimination out there, legal sexual discrimination against women. And so it was very, very difficult for her to try to succeed in those times. And so when the holidays come around, whether it's a birthday or a graduation or Valentine's, any holiday, that it's customary for gift giving to happen, we feel guilty if we don't do enough for our children. But I want 
to have you take a look at this lens. And this key, we typically focus on the etiquette part of it and how we can use manners and good etiquette, understanding the rules of etiquette to help us manage this situation until we feel confident enough that we are providing properly for our family. Because it's this time of year that everybody's focused on the gift giving and we're wondering about stuff and do I have enough? But I challenge you to flip this around. And instead of thinking about the season and gift giving as presents, spelled in the E-N-T-S format, P-R-E-S-E-N-T-S. I challenge you to think about how can I participate in this holiday moving forward and have my gift be my presence in the P-R-E-S-E-N-C-E -E format, meaning front and center, your focused attention. Because if you look back at the times, especially if you had challenging times, we didn't have stuff when I was growing up. My brother and I, things were very, very lean. But it was the memories that were created, the people that we associated with, the adventure of it all that we remember, that we focus on. When I think about memories of my childhood, I think about some of the silly mishaps or some of those special moments with different relatives at the holiday table. And that is what really made the difference for me. And as I look back on all of my experiences, I look back and I think, yeah, stuff is great. Let me tell you, I like stuff and I got plenty of it. But that's not what really makes me feel valued or grateful for my life and experiences. It's I look back on the people that were in it that gave me a present of their physical form and undivided attention. And that's the presence that made the most difference for me in my life. Getting to spend time with people, have them share their wisdom, maybe a joke or some sort of levity to take the pressure off of maybe a really arduous time for a family, like the death of, of, of someone in the family. And it's these moments that I look back, it's these experiences and it's the people that were present, not the gifts that they gave me that made all the difference. And so as you're gathering around the tree this year or whatever religious affiliation or non-denomination that you celebrate, as you're thinking about this, think about how can I invest in this other person by a kind word. You know, the holidays aren't always the greatest. For a lot of people, it's a source of pain or anxiety. And so just being present with someone, sitting in that same space, holding a gaze, a thoughtful word, a gratitude expressed, maybe a meaningful quote that's inspiring to you that you might be able to create a conversation with. Maybe it's just the weather. It's raining outside here. It doesn't matter really what you use to connect with someone. And if they're family, you've got all sorts of things. Maybe you can start reminiscing about times past. The key is that you have the undivided attention because there are people sitting in a house all by themselves, filled with stuff and no people to share it with. And when we look at what we have and we take that inventory, the stuff kind of falls to the wayside. It's a lot less important than the media or society or advertising leads you to believe. People make all the difference. And as you know, if you've been a regular viewer of this show, one of my favorite things to focus on is to ask yourself this question, how do I want to be remembered? And when you look at it from that perspective, especially if ch times are challenging financially for you and think about how do I want to be remembered with this person? Well, I can't give them a bunch of things. This person probably already knows that I'm in financial duress. So if I did give them something of value, they may not want to accept it. That's going to make me feel even worse because giving is about the giver, not the recipient anyway. So what if you gave your time? Maybe you made something for the holidays? Or what if you just showed up 
with your physical presence and enjoined the conversation. Connection is the essence of human exchange. We crave connection on a cellular level. And when we can connect with others, even if things aren't going well, to help commiserate lightens that burden that you're carrying. So this holiday, don't focus on the stuff. Perhaps you can try a different approach and ask yourself, how do I want to be remembered with this individual, with that loved one, with that new friend, that old friend? How can I make all of these people feel cherished by connecting with them with my physical presence? So that's my challenge to you. And when you do so, you will find what you get will be the best Christmas present ever. Thank you so much for being a valued viewer here at the Unlock Your Wealth Foundation, especially if you've taken courses and have been supporting the show over the years. We've got a big anniversary coming up next year for the Keys to Riches Financial Philosophy. So I'll look forward to sharing that with you next week. But I just wanted to take a moment to focus on what's truly important and making meaningful connections with those in your lives. And then the stuff just kind of becomes irrelevant or it's bonus if you can afford it. But in any case, go out and make some meaningful connections for yourself and your loved ones this holiday season. Thank you again for stopping by. Remember to bookmark this for future reference, like it, share it, please comment so I can help tailor more great content to help you overcome your personal and professional challenges to get out of debt, achieve financial freedom, and live the life of your dreams right now today. And I'm here to help you do that. I'm Heather Wagonhals, and I'm making success simple for you. Now go out and unlock your wealth today. UnlockYourWealthToday.com is produced by Heather Wagonhals and the Unlock Your Wealth Foundation. Unlock Your Wealth Today and affiliate brands are copyrighted 2021 by Heather Wagonhals, all rights reserved. For more information about the Keys to Riches financial philosophy or this week's free strategy, please visit UnlockYourWealthToday.com.